This is a presentation about how to use the program Celestia. Celestia is a great program for exploring our solar system as well as traveling to other stars and looking at their systems. And the great thing about Celestia is that you can download it from the internet and it's free. So here we are at the Earth and you can see some really important things on the screen. Up in this corner you can see the object that is selected right now, and that's the Earth. And then you can also see some information below that about that object. Over in the right corner, you have the date and the time. Now, when Celestia starts up, it goes to the current date and time, and it plays everything in real time. So everything in space in the program right now is moving at real time. But if you want to look at the rotation of the Earth, you just press the L key to speed up time and you can now see the rotation of the Earth, and you press the K key to slow it down again. If you want to travel to the Sun, then you press the H key. H stands for Helio, and it's the hot key for the Sun, and you can see when I press the H key, the Sun is now up in the upper left corner as the selected object, but in order to travel to the Sun, we have to press the G key for Go To. So here we have the sun, and we can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Now if we want to go to planets, they also have hotkeys. Each of the planets is designated a number, and that number depends on their position away from the sun. For instance, Mercury, which is the first planet from the sun, is designated a 1. So if I press the 1 key, you can see in the upper left corner that Mercury has now been selected, and if I press G, we can go to Mercury. Alright, now, if you want to go to any other objects in the solar system besides planets, like moons, dwarf planets, or asteroids, um, you have to bring up the search box. So in order to do that, you just press Enter. Then you can start typing in the name of the object that you want to go to. And you can see in that search box, there are a bunch of object names that pop up. You can select one of those object names, or you can, you can continue typing the name of the object that you would like to go to. I would like to go to Io. It's a moon of Jupiter. So now I've got that typed in, so I press Enter to select it, and you can see it in the upper left corner. Then you click G to go to that object. All right, so here we are at Io. Um, now, if you happen to arrive at this moon and you're looking at the dark side, uh, you can move around so that you're looking at the light side. So we can press the shift key and the arrow keys to move us around so we can look at different sides. And if you press the up key, you can look at the bottom of IO, and if you press the down key, you can look at the top of IO. So another thing that you can do is actually toggle the orbit lines. And the red orbit line is the orbit of the object that is currently selected, so Io. Um, and the green orbit lines are the orbit lines of moons. Now way up here you can see a blue orbit line. Um, and the blue orbit lines are the orbits of the planets. That one is probably Jupiter. We can also go outside of the solar system. So let's go to a star named Gliese 581. So we press Enter to select it, and G to go to that star. Alright, so now we're at least 581, and I picked this star because you can see that there are exoplanets around this star. So you can explore not only our solar system, but other systems. Now we don't know what these planets you know, look like, so they won't have accurate depictions, um, but the orbit lines are accurate. Now we can go back to this, our solar system. Here we are at the sun. Um, and you can even zoom back to look at the, our entire solar system.